This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Tofaya Vets. 80% of Singaporeans live in high-rise buildings of HDB or condominiums. Very few Singaporeans keep guinea pigs as pets and have little experience of how to care for them. Hence, this video is a guide on how to prevent a few diseases in guinea pigs. First, we will be looking at this case of a one-year-old female guinea pig with a tilted head. Its head is stiffly tilted to the left of the neck during the morning of the checkup. The owner had not cleaned the ears thoroughly and regularly as the guinea pig disliked ear cleaning. What could be causing this tilt? One of the four common diseases in guinea pigs is ear infection. Ear infection is rather uncommon in guinea pigs but can occur due to bacterial infection. Most of the time, this is due to improper cleaning of the ears, allowing bacteria to grow in the dirty environment of the ear. There are several ways to tell if your guinea pig has an ear infection. The most common symptoms are discharge coming out from the ear, deafness, pain when the ear is touched, and tilting of the head. The reason of the tilting in the head is because the ear has a small chamber containing fluid that helps them maintain balance. When a fluid is infected, it will affect the balance in the guinea pig, causing its head to tilt. So how can I prevent my guinea pig from getting an ear infection? The easiest way is to clean the ear of your guinea pig frequently. There are two simple steps to doing so. First, place the guinea pig on a table and have someone hold the guinea pig down, especially if it is sensitive with people touching its ear. Then, place the veterinary ear drops prescribed by your vet and massage the ear canal. When there are signs of ear infection, please visit your vet. He can prescribe ear drops to let you clean your guinea pig's ear and antibiotics to clear up your guinea pig's infection. Next, let's take a look at this 5 year old male guinea pig. He has been very lethargic and has a fever. Furthermore, he is very thin, has black skin scales, hair loss, pus in the right nostril and overgrown front teeth. Also, his ears and body are very dirty. All of this points towards poor husbandry, or rather, the owner did not take good care of his guinea pig, not giving him nutritious food with vitamin C or grooming his guinea pig, leading to scurvy, skin infections, and upper respiratory tract infections. If a guinea pig does not get enough vitamin C in its diet, it will get scurvy. This condition can interfere with the body's ability to manufacture collagen, an important component of bone and tissue formation. This can cause blood clotting problems and lead to problems of the skin and joints. Symptoms include lethargy, difficulty in walking, slow recovery from even small injuries, hair loss, weight loss, and the list goes on. So how can owners remedy this problem? Just like humans, guinea pigs are unable to produce vitamin C independently and have to get all of it from their food. Hence, the most simple way to do this is provide your guinea pig with a generous supply of high quality food such as pellets, fresh fruits, and fresh vegetables. Next, the lack of proper grooming caused infection of the skin. Most of the time, skin infection is caused by poor living environments and poor grooming practices. Humid and dirty environments combined with infrequent grooming of the guinea pig makes for an ideal condition for fungus and bacteria to grow. This can be identified by hairless sore spots with crust growing all over them. This can be avoided by always providing your guinea pig with clean bathing in a less humid area and also giving it prompt treatment when hello spots are seen. Finally, the chirping sound and eye discharge indicated an upper respiratory tract infection. Upper respiratory tract infection is a common problem among guinea pigs caused by various bacteria. This can be cured by antibiotics and medicine. The next case is on a 5-year-old female guinea pig. The guinea pig was presented with anorexia, green watery diarrhea, and abdominal pain upon pressing. All of these are the main symptoms of an inflammation of the intestinal tract, or more specifically, gastroenteritis. Gastroenteritis can be caused by many factors, like the presence of viruses, 
bacteria, and inappropriate food ingested. In this case, this guinea pig recently changed the pellet brand and soon after experienced the symptoms stated above. A sudden change in food brand is one of the reasons that guinea pigs can acquire gastroenteritis. The change can cause the disruption of bacterial population in the inter inner lining of the intestinal tract, giving rise to diarrhea and vomiting. So what can I do for my guinea pig with gastroenteritis? Firstly, if you have recently changed the brand of food you are feeding your guinea pig, immediately revert to the old brand. To be safe, please also visit the vet. Your vet can pres prescribe medication if needed to treat any infection there is. Also, if you wish to change the diet of your pet, do a discuss with your vet as he can give advice on what type of brand and how to change the food without affecting your guinea pig. Here are some tips and advices to owners on how to let their guinea pig live a healthy life. The first thing to take note of is to inspect and groom your guinea pig daily. Its eyes should be clear and bright, though slight milky discharge is normal. Next, teeth and nails should be kept suitably short by giving them chewing toys and fresh hay, and also trimming the nails. The fur coat should be dense and clean, and patches of hair loss suggest mites or skin infection. The feces should be solid and brown, while watery and green stools suggest gastroenteritis. Ensure that your guinea pig has quality food and good hygiene. You should always feed your guinea pig food rich in vitamin C, such as fresh vegetables and fruits. You can feed pellets that supplement vitamins and minerals to your guinea pig. For the cage, a good small cover house or box inside the cage can give the guinea pig a sense of security. Do regularly clean out the cage and remove the waste from the cage. For more information, please visit topayovets.com.